there we go. Stretching! Am I lagging out or is there no... There it is. I saw the notification. I saw the notification and there was like a 10 second pause. Hello everybody. I have some admin. I have some very important news. Uh, Quantum Break, absolutely fantastic game. This isn't me cancelling it. Everybody's going to go... <gasps> Quantum Break is an absolutely fantastic game, but because of the nature of the way it plays on stream, I've moved it to Friday. So we will be continuing Quantum Break for the next couple of Fridays until we're done with it, because I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to being done with it. But where it has the TV episodes in, I do like a two-hour stream hit a TV episode and then have to go over by 45 minutes every time I stream Quantum Break and that's not the easiest thing for me to do on a Monday and a Tuesday so you might notice that this is in Quantum Break but to keep on with the theme I'm going straight into the Alan Wake DLC on Mondays and Tuesdays so moving forward Alan Wake DLC Mondays and Tuesdays. Hi Void how's it hanging? That's for Void. That that celebration was for Void specific, specifically. I just want everyone to know that Chim came into my stream and accused Kara of being of large scale arson. I mean, I've accused I've I've accused Kara of much worse. Let's be honest. Okay. Also, thank you, Shadows, for the first. Kara, obviously, welcome. Hello, but they have gone off onto a patient. Nevik Link, how does it make you feel that you've matched with this Indian purple frog? We're gonna do a thing because I enjoyed this last time, and now. They fixed this freaking game since the last time I played it, so I can have the audio playing in the background. What does an Indian purple frog look like? Indian purple frog. Oh, it's one of those freaky, it's one of the ones that's like a mutt, they've got a mole face. That is an Indian purple frog. They've got like a, they've got like a molly face. That's the, yeah, they are cut, they're strangely cute and I don't, it's what, why is everything that's slightly weird on this list it's again they're a little bit anteatery and i don't know why nevik don't 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 be mean to the indian purple frog i see that dang it also thank you everybody for the contributions i will not read those out individually but obviously the community uh savings thing is back in full stream so go to the channel point redeem save some channel points and then maybe one day you'll hit that million and make me stream for 30 days straight a boy can dream Happily ever, Kara, how does it make you feel that you match with a Dumbo Octopus? Dumbo Octopus. Ah, uh, it, ah, uh, that's, that's actually pretty cute. I, I can take or leave the tiny tentacles, but I can, I, I appreciate I, I appreciate the Dumbo Octopus. That works for me. Uh, Phoenix, how does it make you feel that you match with this Pygmy Marmoset? I'm assuming a Pygmy Marmoset is just a small Marmoset. Let's be honest. It's just it's just a tiny monkey. It's a tiny monkey. That that that's fairly that's fairly self-explanatory. How does it make you feel, uh, Shadow? How does it make you feel that you max with a Coty? Were you saying in chat that those were the mon those were the yeah, they eat the coffee beans and then poop them out and then people buy poop coffee. I feel like that's the Coty, right? I think that was talked about in chat. Jura, how does it make you feel? Which you... The Atlantic Wolffish. Atlantic Wolffish? Absolutely storming through these today. Yeah, that's probably... I mean, I bet they have a really nice personality. Let's be honest, that fish probably has an absolutely fantastic personality. Yes, I can see you talking about it now. The Coty is the one that eats coffee berries and poops out the, the mouth so people can make coffee from it. I bet it tastes wonderful because if, if, if you make coffee from poopy berries once, I feel, I feel, and you continue to do so, I feel like that coffee either has to be fantastic or you've got issues. I mean, you've got to sift through the poop. We're not going back into poop again. We did enough poop talk yesterday. Uh, and that's where I came in and realized I hadn't put a timer on. TLB, welcome to chat. Obviously, Kara, Jura, everybody. I think I've read out your names out loud. But welcome, everyone. Voided Main, obviously. Hi. I drank over two liters today, chat. Almost three liters by now. Stop reading out achievements. I've not got. I've not asked for them yet. No. Hey, Jura, two liters of water. Yeah. I mean, what other two liters of... What? Jura's out here drinking two liters of beer because of the hot weather. My date seems a bit fishy, and we're moving on after that pun. 
Yep. Yeah, but, but, but see, Jura, Jura, it was great, and then you ruined it with that pun. Thank you very much for achieving that. That's you know, I love a good pun as next as as, as much as the next guy, but a bit fishy. Wow. Um, friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people in possession of souls, I've already said, but we're back in Alan Wake 2. Um, I absolutely, again, absolutely adore this game, but they released DLC, and now we're back to play the DLC. Uh, I, lo I know a tiny amount, but I don't know much. George is getting very fussy. George has been... George has been fussing both of us since I got home from work today. He has also realized where the treats are stored on this shelf behind me. Um, so as I sat down to eat my dinner at my desk, um, he was stood basically where he stood now, staring over my shoulder at the treat box. Come over here, come over, come over, come over, all the way over there, go over there. Look, okay everybody, we're gonna get a George visit out of the way real quick. Sit down, there you go, there's that. Yes, it's very nice, yes, it's very nice. Okay, chat, Alan Wake 2. Um, I absolutely love Remedy games. I'm currently playing two of them on stream right now, so that kind of says it all, really. Um, I don't think I need to say much about the fact that I love Remedy games. I love every single one, and I am counting the minutes till the Max Payne re-release, because I have never played a Max Payne game, and the fact that they're re-releasing them off the back of my Alan Wake playthrough and Quantum Break and various other things, I'm super hyped for the end of the year, or, like, further news on that in general. Um... I'm not sure if there's anything else to say about I I I like Remedy. I like Remedy Entertainment. They're pretty freaking cool. Can you give a synopsis of what happened to Alan Wake to this point? I can even get halfway through Alan Wake 2. I can try. It's pretty fucking complicated. I can try. Yeah, let's do that. I like these at the best of times. The cat, yeah, the cliff notes. I can get. I will give it my best shot. I will hold my hand up and say, "Isn't my cat George cute? Me cute." Um, but I will hold my hand up and say, "Nobody come at me in the comments or the or chat or whatever," because this is probably not going to be accurate. Why am I so short today? I feel like I can't get comfortable in my chair. There we go. Um, so, Alan Wake is a writer. With, uh, Alan Wake is a writer with writer's block, and he goes to the uh he goes to the village of Bright Falls with his um wife under the guise of the wife hiring a cabin and they're gonna work on his writer's block in that place there's a local psychologist um there's a local psychologist and um the wife has booked him in secretly and they're gonna resolve his writer's block and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic but in doing so they arrive at Bright Falls and it very quickly becomes apparent that there is something paranormal going on um, when they go into the cafe right at the beginning of the first game, there is a almost ghostly woman that seems to be dressed as if they are in mourning um, who hands them their cabin key. And as it turns out, the cabin that they go to isn't the cabin that they've booked. The cabin that they go to is this rickety old sort of rundown on this rickety old rundown island on the middle of the side of the on, on the side of this lake. And they sort of settle in. And then, and then there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a sort of like paranormal, paranormal activity type scenario. And in the process, um, Alice is swept away into the lake because as it turns out, the paranormal entity lives at the bottom of the lake. And Alan Wake is sort of secluded in his house and is made to write a book that is all about um the arrival of this dark presence from another dimension because as it turns out um there's this sort of like field uh i think we learned the terminology for it. it's like an altered world event it's an a it's called an awe which we learned about in control um anything fictional within the proximity of the lake and the dark place beneath which is where the dark entity exists um becomes potentially real so alan wake is made to write this novel um that will release the dark presence into the world um he then sets about having been unconscious for set or seemingly unconscious for a couple of weeks sets about finding various um manuscript pages because in his in his 
delirium whilst writing this book for the Dark Presence to rescue his wife. Um, he also writes in a sort of get out of jail free card um, that will send the Dark Presence back to the back to the lake and free Alice from their prison. And there's a whole, there's a whole, there's a whole like there are so there are so many various story threads in that game. I think the overarching thing is that, it, as it turns out, there's this sort of clandestine old woman that lives in a dam that has um, got this magic clicker. And a clicker, it's like an extent... The clicker is sort of like expanded upon in the second game. So, in summary, through cutscenes and various things, we discover that when Alan Wake was a child, their mother gave them the uh, light switch part of a lampshade, uh, the, the bit with the light, like wires coming out of end and the light switch bit um, called the clicker and that was uh, that was what the, his mother said would drive the drive the darkness away um, so in the writings that Alan Wake has done to sort of make it fictional this clicker exists and it's being held by this clandestine sort of like I can't remember what they're, they're like the light bringers there's a technical term for the like person that they represent but they've got They've got like a la this woman's got like a lantern that she carries with her everywhere, and she's got this. Uh, she lives in a dam where the lights never turn off because it's an ele electrical power dam. And um, th in this vault, they discover this clicker, which they're going to use to drive the light that drive the darkness away. Um, Alan Wake returns to the lake, um, has a final sort of altercation with the dark presence, uses the clicker to drive the darkness back into the lake but in doing so falls into the lake himself but frees Alice and at the end of the first game Alice is seen washed up on the shore of the lake and Alan has disappeared into the darkness and then 10 years go by and that's real life years because that first game I think was always going to have a sequel but I think there was some sort of like background political drama shit that went on which left the entire thing in question so 10 years go by and in that period you get Control. Control is a great, absolutely fantastic game. There is a DLC which sort, sort, which sort of we dip our toes into what's going. Uh, Control came a little bit after, and we sort of dip our toes into what's going on in the world of Alan Wake in preparation for Alan Wake Two. Um, and as it is revealed um, in Control, Alan Wake is in the dark place. He's writing furiously to try and escape and is unable to do so. Um, the dark presence is sort of like driving him a little bit crazy. And um, it's sort of like all a promotional buy-in to say, yeah, we're doing Alan Wake 2. Isn't it going to be absolutely fantastic? So that's, that's, everything up till, that's everything up till the end of Control. Um, see, I, the the difficulty is the first and the second, uh, the first game, and maybe how it was discussed in Control was reasonably simple. Um, Alan Wake Two, by comparison, they add a I think there's a technical term for it. It's like a dual tagonist. Um, there is a woman, an FBI agent called Saga Anderson, and she is accompanied thirteen years later to the town because people have been going missing in Bright Falls again. Um, and they are accompanied to the town by a uh, another FBI agent called Alex Casey. And there's this whole art overarching story set behind the fact that Alex Casey is the fiction is the name of Alan Wake's fictional FBI hero. So you're never sure for the entire length of the game whether or not Alex Casey is sort of like uh, uh, has been introduced to reality by Alan Wake or hasn't been. And as it I mean, this is the DLC for the main game, so reasonably, if you don't want to hear how the end of Alan Wake 2 happens, you'll, I think you're kind of in the wrong place. So what I will say is, the whole resolution of the, re resolution of the story comes around the Dark Presence wants to escape the lake again, and uh, is using various um, methods to do so. Chiefly, um, Alan Wake is returned to the overworld. He comes out of the lake, but as it turns out, it's his alter ego, Scratch, because in the process of various time loops in the dark place, which is where Alan has been at the bottom of the lake, um, it's all about the entire experience is about time loops and the inside, like the 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 conclude like a time that that there's. I'm trying to explain time travel here at this point, and this is where everything gets really fucking complicated. Um, 
Alan Wake 2's first playthrough, the entire concept is based around loops. So, what it, what in the mind boggle have I tuned in on? Shadow Joe, because I'm trying to explain how Alan Wake 2 works, and it's really fucking complicated because there's time travel and shit. So, I'm going to try and do it as... I'm going to try and do it as straightforwardly as possible, but this is making my brain hurt. Basically, Alan Wake 2 requires two playthroughs, right? The first playthrough is all about time loops. So you are going through the process. You are you Explain it to me like I'm five. Yeah. So the, the first game was all about getting Alice Wake out of the lake, right? Yeah, that's it. That's literally everything you need to know about Alan Wake 1. Alan Wake 2 was about Alice Wake trying to get Alan out of the lake. So the game requires two playthroughs. The first playthrough has this overarching concept of time loops. So in varying degrees, you are sort of like dipping in and out of the two main characters. And in doing so, you are you are sort of like traveling on a tri timeline, but seeing points at different parts. So as it tur like as it turns out, an event that happens at the end of the game is a re is the reason why Alan Wake two ap Alan Wake appears at the beginning of the game, and so on. It's all sp it's all loopy. So things you're doing at one point is affecting a bit a bit in the story that happened before, and as the game ends, Alan Wake is shot in the head, and you're like, "Fuck, is he dead?" Um, and then the credits roll, um, but there's this after credit scene that reveals that Alice Wake through the process of the first playthrough of Alan Wake 2 was actually working to get her husband out of the dark place and time isn't a loop it's a spiral so the journey like that you start at the beginning of your first playthrough isn't about loops at all you are traveling along a line that's slowly spiraling down to an ending and as you end your second playthrough because of the various interactions you've had throughout the game as it turns out alice wake was um their final straw was to get alan to react was to theoretically kill themselves but they didn't um alan wake is released at the end of the game because she tricked him into thinking she was dead and it's a sort of like resolution it's not a happy story there's it's and i'm probably not explaining it very well and i think a lot of this comes down to interpretation um it's pretty it's pretty crazy but i fucking love the storytelling in remedy games and i hope that they do an alan wake 3 because i was so in love with this entire game the entire length through i went back and played control control was just as good i'm playing quantum break quantum break is now on fridays because usually i play it on a monday or tuesday but it's a bit long and now we're coming back to the alan wake dlc this is the i i think i've i've if if you need a better summary because it's also been a while since i played the main game that explanation deserves something for making that make somewhat sense, really. I uh, did, yeah, there we go, I did that. <laughs> basically, Yay! basically, the, the, there's the, fir the second game for Alan Wake requires two playthroughs. The first playthrough implies that time is a spiral, it, sorry, is a loop, and the second playthrough implies that time is a spiral. So through the act of going through the first playthrough, you're actually traveling on a line to get to an ending. Because the entire first playthrough, you're sort of like, I don't know how this is going to resolve. And actually, the act of playing the game a second time resolves the story at the end. Do I think the payoff was worth it? Yes, but I am massively into the lore of this franchise. And I think a lot of people on the internet were upset about it. Like, they didn't want to jump back straight into a second playthrough, but I basically did it in one sitting. Um, yeah, so... Potato, tomato. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. You don't have to do that. Honestly, I do enjoy chirp, these chirp. really shitty... Exp Shadow Joke has just cheered 100 bits. Shadow Joke, because I really... Here is something for that explanation. I really do enjoy these shitty explanations that I do, because I think somewhere... I just pray somewhere somebody more into this game is watching this and going, that's completely fucking wrong. What the hell is he on about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah.
But yeah, so now we are back playing Alan Wake 2. Chat, if you have achieved anything big or small since the last time we spoke, I would love to hear about it. We celebrate achievements on my stream. A big achievement could be uh, admitting to yourself you are never going to be able to get out of bed on time on a Monday, so you get a cooked breakfast when you arrive at work and it's absolutely delicious. That's my achievement. A small achievement could be um, going to the dryer and putting on a pair of socks as you're leaving the house this morning that didn't have fucking great holes in that's also my achievement small achievement i didn't put holy socks on what kind of breakfast it was a bacon and sausage sandwich and it was freaking delicious honestly it was freaking delicious and when i say sausage it's not like so the place that i work has this little canteen and originally when they opened it they were doing sausage and bacon sandwiches and i mean sausages like sausages is like sauce, sausages, you know, like I can't really draw a sauce, like a, like a, like a sausage, you know what I mean? Like a, like a general sausage, like a, the default shape of sausage, but they, um, a link, thank you. Um, they got to a point where they were like, actually, these are quite hard to cook very quickly. So instead they've started buying the patty, they do patties now. Yes, the patties are delicious. And I've talked, I've clearly talked about this on stream before that you got to that point, but they are so good. And I, 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 um, I could be very, I, it, the sobering thing was, the sobering thing today was, I was talking to the woman behind the till as she was cooking my food. And, um, I didn't even have to ask her for what I wanted. She just cooked it and was like, here's the, it, like, here's how much it costs. And I was like, I've been coming here too many times if you know exactly what I want every single time. And apparently I go, I go there maybe twice or three times a week now. Three times is a bad week. So maybe once or twice a week. And apparently there are people in there that go twice a day for those sandwiches. Like, twice on the same day. That's a hell of a lot of bacon. I, um, you know, life's too short not to eat a shit ton of bacon. Also, Darby, hello. Um, yeah, that's it. We're going to play the Alan Wake DLC. I have talked for a full 27 minutes. We've talked about achievements. You're going to strap yourselves in, chat. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And we're just going to see how this plays out. Because I, other than the fact that this is separated, I don't think this is an Alan Wake experience. I think this is an other character experience. Um, other than that, I know very little about it. So... Let's freaking go. Yeah, so here we have it. I had a fantastic day. Me and Kara hung out for six hours. You should treat it as a nice thing that she remembers. That means you're either a nice person and she remembers that, or you're a dick and she remembers you because of that. I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I don't mean to big myself up because I, it, like, I'm fairly self-deprecating at the end of times, uh, at the best of times, but I'm fairly. I don't want to say striking because that makes me sound like I'm saying I'm pretty. I am fairly rememberable. I am a six foot six man with a large beard that has a tendency to wear flat colored t-shirts and black like I I am fairly I am fairly rememberable in the grander scheme of things. And at the same time, there aren't that many employees at our company. According to Sanguine, you are pretty. I believe that they said that I was hot. Do not try and rewrite history. Sanguine said I was hot. Uh, when I worked retail, the grey era people were not memorable. People were memorable to me because they were nice. I can't offer it. I mean, I am very nice to them. Like, I mean, I'm I, I I say thank you, and I don't if so. So here's the thing, right? I'm an employee there. This canteen also serves the public. If they are busy, I go down and say, hi, what's the queue like right now? And they say, come back in like 20 minutes. And then I'll go back in 20 minutes. And nine times out of 10, I've not even ordered the food. They've or they've cooked it for me whilst cooking other people's. And then I pay afterwards. Um, maybe I am just nice. I don't like that. I, 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 I don't like that. Hey everybody, have you ever, have you ever been seen and validated, validated by your significant other whilst Twitch streaming? Because I, I, Dolly, just, there is a massive delay with sound alerts today. Is it going to get there or is it just not going to play it at all this time? I 
Okay, that sound alert might turn up eventually. Um, there it is. Ba, 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 ba. In the shadows. Uh, why would you do it immediately? See, why was that one so quick? Bow ties are cool. This from the man in the bow tie. Bow ties are cool. Bow ties are cool. Brown. Here's one. Bow tie. Get red. Bow ties are cool. Okay, we're gonna go with. No, we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with this. No, we're not going to go with that. We'll go with this. No, that's still not good either. We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. The sounds are balked. They are slow for some reason. I don't know why. They're playing. It just takes like 15, 20 seconds for them to arrive on screen. I'm seeing them in chat a lot later. I don't know why. Um... Yeah, okay, so one thing I need to remember to do is turn on do not disturb mode in Epic because the notifications are shit when you play an Epic game. Tato! How's it going? I hope you're doing well. We are about to start. You are literally, you've not missed anything. I'm assuming there's going to be like opening credits or something for this DLC we're about to start. So strap yourselves in, everybody. This is Night Springs. Oh, shit. There's more. Sorry, I was. I got a bit ahead of myself. There's um, there's there's a second button press. I'm doing well, thanks, Rain. Good, glad to hear it. Uh, loading into an expansion will overwrite your progress in the existing expansion quick slot. So we've got three episodes of Night Springs to play through. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages, <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Deli played by Alan Wake. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam, destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. A beard like Your mahogany colored velvet. With all that excitement, it began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. We are playing the As waitress. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Let's go straight back into the toilet and rob things. No, that's Alan Wake. It's not Alan Wake. Just sh no time for that. I've got customers waiting. Oh my god, customers. Would anybody like a cup of Joe? Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress. Look who it is! Hi, 
everyone. Look at that beard. Another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make. Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. I need to go and get One the jug. Me, please, and thank you. It's Chim. Will it's do. not Chim. Let me just grab a fresh pot. I need a fresh pot, chat. Optional dispense really good advice. Hello, sir. Can I freshen up that beverage? It's really creepy how he's just watching me like that. Like if I stand up. Hello? That was weird, right? He stopped. No, he's doing it again. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. Is this woman on? You sure are. This feels like. Why is everything wearing pink? This feels like uh, this. Hot coffee. This I might be a nightmare. Your fan site for that writer was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. I'm, I'm gonna be. Thanks. I, it wasn't easy. He's an Alan Wake stalker. Yeah, but the the canteen is not this color in the over. I think this is like a dream skate sequence. Because why is everything Barbie themed? I love Here the you medium go. rare. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. I'm really creeped out Here's by this. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary? And that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. I work extremely hard, but also I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Not with that attitude. Stop comparing yourself to me. <sighs> comparing yourself to me won't help. You gotta find what you wanna do and do it. I believe in you. Wow. You just changed my entire way of looking at the world. Thank you. No problem. Problem is, I'm pretty sure people like this actually exist in real life and that, like, it's very. That's everyone's coffee. It's overly. Better put this pot back. It's overly energetic and it concerns me. Um, who is this lady? So in the first game, there was a woman, this woman, in fact, that was corrupted by the Dark President's to, uh, presence to do, its uh, to do its bidding. Uh, we, we saved her and in doing so, she became a super fan of Alan Wake. Um, and like refers to herself as his like like the archbishop of alan Everyone wake good on coffee. i loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner but that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust hi I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. Hey, Dolly, do I have lips like buttery pie crust? It's gonna be really awkward if Dolly's not in chat anymore. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? What happened? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, Buttery pie crust. She told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. You do dress like a divorced but gym it's teacher. What's inside that matters, right? No. Um. No. Okay. I mean, it might be a good thing if you like pie. I guess. Uh, you need to make an effort. Personality is all that matters. Right. Show them the real you, and it will all work out. <sighs> Talk about that mole you worry about when you're trying to fall asleep. Well, I'll try that. Thanks. A Sorry. Million. Talk about that <laughs> mole you worry about while you're trying to fall asleep. Is Knight's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. I'm so creeped out. Why have they done this? 
Hello? I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing! Thanks! Those yoga lessons really paid off. Why would yoga save a kitten from a bear? The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. They're talking about sex. I better take these plates back to the service window. Excuse me, can I borrow you? What sure. can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. Oh, that's After just all, this thing. You're the town's literature buff. <gasps> Is Joker oh, a super fan yeah, now? Apparently. to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a copy from the back. Get the novel from storage. How novel? I mean, I've seen some very flexible, but you know, you know, Shadow. I need you to stand up for me, right? And try and touch your toes. And I, I, I imagine, or at least I can't do it. So. The fact that they can do it, it might be a superpower. Exactly, it's a superpower. You can't do it, therefore it's a superpower for a person that can. I don't seem to have a play. I can. You want me to what? Touch your toes. Wrong shadow. You know what I meant. You better not crease any pages. I will not. I was talking to Shadow Jokers. There are Your shadows. Shadow is Shadow Jokers. It's a superpower to get out of my chair at this rate. Have you have you have you been eating have you eaten too many pies? This is a very pie themed stream today. Um Jura. We just had a barbecue. Oh With sausages and burgers and lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Thank you for the hydrate. Beat Poetry Night at Night's Dine in Night's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs every Friday at 8 p.m. And steak. Ooh. I want food, chat. We've had, we had a delicious... What did we have for dinner? We had spiced rub chicken with some rice and some steamed vegetables because we're trying to be good with consumption of veg. Uh, today was the first day that we tried the meal and it was absolutely fantastic but a steak with all of that would have been real nice um employee of the decade award in recognition of basically being the best at like everything presented to everyone's favorite waitress uh that is a that is more anime drawings of the waitress rescuing alan wake uh Two can do it. Thank you so much for uh, taking in my six macaws. I got a new chair coming though and I can't wait. What kind of chair did you buy? Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. Secret Labs, good choice. Did you buy a themed one or did you just get a default one? It's me. Your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. Did that just happen? Okay. Um, the only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death Will Hurt, America's best-selling writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city. Will Hurt by America's best-selling. This is a story that Rose has written about herself that's come true. I'm beginning to get that feeling, right? Like, this is... This this feels like this feels like fan fiction. <laughs> oh. Time Lord. How's it hanging, Time Lord? We are flap, flap. 
Time Lord Live just raided with two viewers. Raiders, my name is Chimp, and otherwise known as Chim, I'm a variety streamer, and we have literally just started this drug drug trip of a mess that is the DLC for Alan Wake 2. Wrap yourselves in. She keeps a lock of hair in her journal. Shout out Time Lord. The Time Lords are the shout outs are happening automatically. It's very exciting. We've got some potatoes. When she says accessories in the kitchen, are we thinking a literal gun? Uh, Time Lord, how was your stream? My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. I am so unnerved by this woman. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good. You'd doing love to it. have one for her IRL. Just like me. I was finally was good. Game ready is super interesting, not very interactive, but very cute, weird and mysterious. Some, sometimes those are the there best sorts no of games. There was no time to waste. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. Oh, we've come full circle. Don't mind me, it's something Dolly would enjoy for sure, yeah. Okay, they're now... They're now doing one of those. I'm off to shoot some people in the woods. The boatyard is this way. You better hurry. Go through the boatyard. This Has Alan gone back to sleep moment. yet? No. My chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. Currently, we're and drug tripping with enough, the waitress. I don't know what is. We're on the diner while you're gone. We'll be way worse at it. Tell him we all love his books. You've got to save literature. You're the only one tough and graceful enough to save. I was leaving my old I need a shower. Behind. Like a body left to sink in a this? lake so no one finds it's it. This is somehow Nothing making me feel gross. Me and my future with the writer. I do like the ba the banner. One waitress plus one writer equals forever. I need a cold shower. And the music. The music just stopped for a sec. Hello. Now, who the heck is that? I've got a gun. Don't make any sudden movements. It's Alan. I knew you'd come to his rescue. It's Snatch. Sorry, Scratch. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. To think of all After the today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. To think of all the sexual opportunities if there were two Alan Wakes. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for I thought Tower nights. for days. Wow. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? A gun? I have a shotgun. Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? 
Okay, I admit that's a, I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. There was only one way to deal with monsters. I haven't changed the audio sounds, but I'll fix it for you now. One sec. I think we had this discussion when I was doing my Alan Wake playthrough. Only a monster could... Uh, audio sound effects down. Be blind to the poignance of How's my writer's story? books. And there was a I've complete. Better, good. The difficulty is I've not played this game in a while, and I'm suddenly very aware of that fact. Okay. <laughs> um, fine. That was that a hundred percent. That a hundred percent. That a hundred percent happened. I can hear somebody speaking. How did he ever My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. Sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. Okay. I'm not getting in the boat then. I felt felt like it was implying I needed to get in the boat. Um, yeah, this definitely... That's champagne. I mean, that boat is also... Can we talk about the fact... I'm pretty sure that the water is clipping through this boat. Yeah. I hear somebody's coming. Okay, that was actually a really good shot. I, I'm patting myself on the back for that. That was um. I'm th fresh out of bullets. That made me feel. That made me feel like my team is huge. Um. Okay. There's fire everywhere. We got boxes. Got more health potions, and the floor is on fire. The twins' motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks 
to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me I survived. Right to my oh. writer. Yeah, Rachel, tell us his kidnapper. How was your first I felt day? I like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. How was your first day? Um, this game is a lot. Welcome to this fever day dream. It is, it is, it is a lot. More haters. Here they come. So like, where's Alan? Um, I don't think Alan at, like, this is after the main story or, like, alongside. I'm not sure where this sits alongside the main story. How did he ever get published? Yes. Oh, hold on. I need to fill my gun up. I love the way that it's also loading us on. I have a sweet homeroom morning class. Okay, but what about the rest? Characters all talk weird. Try reading. Oopsies! Can't forget the bullets. You are all being very rude. It's bullets o'clock. I have like four or five autistic hippos in the morning group, but they but they seem to, to be just shy and awkward and I can deal with that. <laughs> yeah. So according to the internet, Alan Wake two nice rings, which sets up three standalone stories that takes us back to the small. Okay, it's like it's like during and before. Uh, sorry, during and after. The what? This woman had these sorts of tendencies during the game, but she was only in it for very brief segments. I didn't really register the fact that she was delusional like this on a playtime i would be curious for the for the episodically for this version of the game i would be i would be interested uh the first one hopes to finish so you uh was able to finish it in Why two hours my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother he must be waiting until our third or fourth date. Hey, I might finish it today. Candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. No idea when the real teacher oh, will start working. That Are you not man has more layers than a croissant. You're a real teacher. So when we swap kids, my afternoon class will be wild and chatty. Are you not a real teacher? I feel like you're a real teacher. I, I like to my head cannon is now I, I'm just I'm just gonna put it out there that my head cannon is I think you missed a message I did miss a message I apologize I'm I'm shooting zombie I couldn't type let creatures these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site but this time I was banning them from life Dolly, I am going to choose to believe that you write fan fiction about me like this. I said my kids switched classes. The bad thing is that the afternoon teacher hasn't completed the hiring process because she was hired late, so they have a sub in the afternoon. Ah, okay. Subs aren't necessarily great. But yeah, I'm going to choose, Dolly, that you write fan fiction about me this way. All the tears of the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in a, in sad state, this city of mine, but she was still mine, the filthy prison I called home. Sub to teachers too. Yeah, but they're not. It's it's not. That subs are inconsistent. Or I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying that they are. It's there's an innate 
inconsistency to what they have to do as a job. Um, I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was drinking champagne. He was inside. sub teachers are treated very differently in the u.s based off what you've just said but in the grander scheme of things even if they were qualified teachers they aren't part of the they don't know where the original teacher is in the curriculum there can all be all there can be all sorts of reasons why uh their presence makes in the the experience that much more inconsistent and a lot of children needing uh, need consistency um ad starts in 20 seconds chat go grab yourself a drink go grab yourself a snack hug love on sniff a beloved family animal i will go on the brb screen when that happens um but in the meantime uh i hope you stick around for this freaking uh i hope they stick have to stick around for this 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 game again it's back everybody we're back in alan wake 2 
when you say Rachel, when you say resources, are you talking like he's made a spreadsheet, uh, sorry, uh, a PowerPoint presentation and you need the PowerPoint presentation, but he won't give it to you? Is that what you're talking about? Or like he's he's got like a load of booklets or worksheets the kids can work on and you now have to make your own because he won't give you his? All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in a sad state, this city of mine, but she was still mine, the filthy prison I called home. Talking about an entire canvas course with activities and powerpoints and quizzes embedded in it for the whole year, and he just won't give it to you? Uh, I mean, is he? A, is it like, from a from a job perspective? To ask a really dumb question... From a, but from a, like, is he meant to? I'm not sure how I can ask this in a safe way. Like, he is being a dick. It is his job to give you that resource. There isn't, like, somebody above him that you could go to to make him hand it over. Or something along those lines. Uh, I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing his, around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way, and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out of the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic... Uh, excuse for a man, long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You... I don't want to say that he's absolutely has to get you. I don't want to say he absolutely has to give it to me. I mean, if he if he said like reason reasonably moral human being, if he said he would give it to you, he should give it to you, regardless. Like, I get, I get, like, I get that. I get if he had said no, you have to do it yourself. But if my principal wants all fifth grade ELA classes to be on the same page, showing those resources would really help that. Yeah, reasonably, even if, if, if the overarching concept, right, is to get all of these kids onto the same level, even if you looked at those resources and created your own alongside those, that would make more sense. Like, from a practical... Like, practically. Even if you re-engineered the, them into a way that you can then teach from. Fucking people are just, people are just, what a douche canoe. He reached up, he reached for his pistol under his jacket, a six shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I had done my homework. He barely had a piece out of its holster, holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his bare hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that, gave me one right hook in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slaps of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for his train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took after him. Took off after him. Through the twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain link fence. He sneered, teeth uh, teeth like rows of grey gray, uh, gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, the jagged ends wire ripping through my sleeves of my leather coat and biting into my skin. The pain was welcome. I have no idea how to create that to make it the same. Some of it he didn't make himself. He bought some of it from a website called Teachers Pay Teachers. Teachers created resources that are available for purchase. Uh, he won't even show me how to do that, though. I dropped down in the alleyway and ran like a panther at every blind corner. I expected trash can li a trash can lid in the face. None came. Maybe bullets hand like what he saw in the eyes as I climbed the as my in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what, Joe? You know what I want, Joe? Bullets let go. Bullets let go of the door handle. Hands uh, up as they'd go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't got. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Sure. 
Bullets lunged for his ankle. A crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man, insane. I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man? Yeah, I know. Where can... Uh, where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Uh, I have a TPT resource that I could share with him, but because he's speed, I'm supposed to match him, basically. Some of it he didn't hear, but the kids are good. Good. As long as the kids are good, I know you were worried about that. Um, bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain, then pay, then he spilled his guts. My number one fat, oh wait, bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain, then he spilled his guts. My number one fan, if I don't make it, then I just want you to know that, no, I can't say it, curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. I left the alley, told a riot, told a way, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot, didn't care what he did with that information, I had what I needed. Okay, so this is, this is this lady reading messages in novels that, like, in her mind is Alan Wake speaking to her somehow. You know, completely normal, the rational things. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my writer inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little writer? Hello? I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. I'm just a frail rider. I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. Look at how many fucking I've got 320 shotgun shells. Did you happen to see the bow tie? I did. I've not installed it yet because I didn't have time. I've come um, to save you. But thank oh, you. I loved joy. it. We can finally be together and sit through beat poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My writer only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Life is not unlike a highway. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. Yeah, I got in and had to reinstall, uh, like, install an update on this game, and it took freaking ages, and then I had to go live. Because I also went to my parents' house on the way home, and it was delightful. They'd made, they'd got Dolly a birthday present that they hadn't had yet, because they were sick on their birthday. And, um... Uh, sorry, they were they weren't feeling up to seeing them on my on her birthday on their birthday. Running with wolves. Um, seems like a and my dad party. had wood turned Dolly a bowl like a big like a bowl to keep on her desk like a like bought the wood turned the bowl. So Dolly's got a custom bowl from my dad for their birthday. Uh, becoming the alpha, everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. Yeah, my dad's like my dad's main hobby. Oh, dad, he has a lathe. Yeah, my dad has a few, a few very dadly hobbies. One is fishing, but he doesn't do that very much. Um, he drinks too much. Uh, but he also is very good at wood turning. My granddad was a carpenter, and I think he inherited a lot of that skill and a lot of his tools as well from my granddad. Oh, my <laughs> Dolly's bought the bowl. This is the bowl that my dad made. So. I've I've I, I've got instructions. So he turned this, uh, but this this patch here is actually living bark. It's been varnished now, but uh, uh, but that's um, this is uh, this is actually living bark from the outside of the wood that he turned. Um, and one of Dolly's one of Dolly's main requests, uh, well, living in the sense that it's the bark like the bark stayed on. It's not like a lie. It's not like alive, but it's it's like. You know what I mean. It's, 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 you see, it's like the bark of a tree. And when you turn wood, it's quite hard to get that, I guess. Um, but the bark remained on, on that spot. 
which is very cool. One of Dolly's requests was my dad does that thing where if a piece of wood, quite often when you're turning wood, it can crack and do all sorts of things. My dad's been doing that stuff that you always see on Facebook and TikTok all the time, where the person fills it with an acrylic, vi like a vinyl uh, plastic, so it sort of glows blue in some cases. Dolly had one request that they wanted a bowl with some of that resin in. Um, this bowl happened to be absolutely perfect with no problems. So the only part that my dad could put the resin in is this little tiny thing here. So Dolly got what they wanted. It's like a tiny little bit of resin on the one, on the one, on the one point. It's sort of like depending on the angle, you can sort of see through it, but it's it's quite it's quite tight. Thank you, Dolly. <laughs> yeah, my dad is uh, my dad is extremely practical and talented, and it's uh, I did not inherit any of that from him. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. Ooh, you're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. Are your parents as tall as you know? Just out the back. They're First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? They're he had crossed the line. They're tall for their generation. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. They're tall for their generation, but they're not tall. Like, by comparison to me. Um, torture ideas. My poor Pike and my grandpa also worked with wood. Uh, and he would put, like, a tiny plaque on the bottom of it. The back or whatever he made. That's cool. Uh, my dad has done, like, perfume bottles, pens. Um, one birthday, we basically went onto the a website. Said he was down at the beach. We went onto a website and bought him like a sample supply of every single type of wood you could buy in South Africa. Um, that was a pre he, he turned that into various things over the course of literal, like a literal year after we gave him that for a birthday. It's, you know, it's really nice to see him passionate about something and he is passionate about wood turning. Power battery, solid potential, pulling fingernails, too messy. The bell, where did I get a bell? Blunt spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Gasoline fire, fire might burn cabin down. So this is him planning to torture Alan Wake. Follow the bad boy's trail. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? The bow tie. Yeah, it's cool. Bow ties are cool. This from the man in the bow tie. Bow ties, bow ties are cool. Bow ties are cool. Here's one. Bow tie. Get rid. Bow ties are cool. I have a couple of things that my poor poor made for me that I plan to keep as long as I possibly can. It is nice to keep stuff like that. Everybody thought it was strange. I, um, when I turned 21, like when you turn 21, it's like a big birthday, right? You turn 18 and then you turn 21. Um, and it's like the big birthdays. And I suppose the next one is like 30, 40, 50, 60. Um, for my 21st birthday, I got a pocket watch and everybody thought I was absolutely crazy. Like, why didn't I get some money for a car? Why didn't I get driving lessons? Something like that. And I got that pocket watch to keep and like, at the time, the plan was to give it to my children, but obviously this was a very long time ago and Dolly Whiskers and I are not having kids now. So I have a pocket watch and it's like, it's going to be, I'm not exactly a person that's going to go out and buy antiques. So it's kind of like my, like my, it's, it's the, it's the Chimkin family pocket watch. Yeah, an heirloom. Thank you. I was looking for the word. I couldn't land on the words. And I'd always wanted a pocket watch as well. Meow the evil seedlet. <laughs> Please, I beg you. How's it going, seedlet? Um. We are, this is, this is, this is trippy. 
Be prepared to be trippy. Everything's pink. We're playing Alan Wake 2, but we're playing it as the as the waitress. Doing pretty good? Good. I'm ready to be tripped. Look how pink this is. It shouldn't be this pink. It is very pink. I mean, that screenshot, that nobody say anything in chat so I can get a good screenshot. The really good thing, uh, the really bad thing about Epic is there isn't a built screenshot system. Okay, I've taken it. You can speak now. Um, so I have to take a screenshot of everything that's on screen in OBS when I take one. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is beside my webcam? It's the it's the gun reticle on the bottom. There's a picture of the gun that I've got equipped bottom right. I couldn't understand what this little, like, this triangle here was. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. I'm gonna shoot you. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Do you add your stream elements in OBS? I do. Um, Orca, you're making an object that I cover. No F2 screenshot via Steam. No, so this, this game isn't available on Steam. It's available by Epic. And Epic don't deal with screenshots in the way that Steam does. So I had to basically set up a OBS screenshot button. And every time I take a screenshot, I have to just crop out the, like, me part of it. Giant paper whale. Uh, why are you doing this? What did he ever do to you? Yes, OBS I, is better I, than Streamlabs. Already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed by success. Like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. I remember now. Get up. Thank you for the first time chat. confidence thing. Uh, w well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. I will scold you. Are rude. You. you have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're a. So I'm gonna get on a box. One sec. This there was a lot of the reason that I don't use. No worries, love the beard. How are you and chat? We're doing all right. This game is very trippy. I played Alan Wake 2 a little while ago, so we're, we're just starting the first DLC. And it is a, um, it's very interesting. Where's the box? OBS is confusing me. What's, what do you mean box? This is the feverest fevery dream that I've ever fevered. Um, OBS. <laughs> Catch up, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Bot Bob Brigade. Did not let the power go to you. I'm just a random bearded man on the internet. Cluck, cluck. Oh, 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 catch up. Oh, 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 has just joined the Bok Bok Brigade. Um, the box that I was about to get on is that Streamlabs, slobs, for want of a better word, is the OBS software, which is effectively freeware, uh, which a bunch of people tack stuff onto um released as a standalone project and make money through so the developers of obs created obs and it's absolutely fantastic a lot of people use obs they're a lot about a bunch of content creators i think this could the, i don't want to don't sue me for this because i'd have to google something uh i'd have to google this to be 100 percent. so i suggest that you do your own research um morally speaking Streamlabs is really iffy Tara is going to help me learn how to use it. I just don't understand how to use it. Uh, use OBS. So don't use Streamlabs. Got it. Use OBS. OBS is really straightforward. I use Streamlabs and it's so limited. No, Streamlabs is the... Okay. Streamlabs, Streamlabs is bad. Use basic OBS. That's it. That's all I got. A catch up. I don't usually get on... I, use, I don't usually get on flip. OBS is simple. Streamlabs is a pain. I just... You can do OBS. OBS is only limited by the amount of time that you're willing to put into it. There are so many plugins. The fact that I can do shit like this is a plugin that somebody random coded, and I find and I found it on the internet, and I input and I implemented it, and 
that was just a thing that I tinkered away with. I mean, it took me a fair amount of time to get working, but it's just, it's just, it's just really. But OBS, uh, sorry, Streamlabs has a bunch of stuff like that, but it's, it's just got a weird sort of, it's got a weird sort of haze on the entire experience. I guess I don't understand how to implement things. Are you building it? Is it? Are you trying to tell me something? Rachel, are you installing OBS right now? What happened to getting a new PC? <laughs> okay. And yes, it, it comes through practice. None of this stuff, I, like, I have, I already had it installed. So I have, just to clarify, before I started streaming, I had only ever really tinkered with OBS a little bit for screen recording purposes. All of the stuff that I had implemented during the two years that I've been streaming has been learnt through doing. So I will add some stuff to my stream. I will use it for a little bit. I will do some research that's sort of like off an idea that spawned from that original thing that I did. And um, I will create something new. So one of my original, like one of my original, original things was that I was watching a YouTube video once to somebody's Twitch stream and they had a button that allowed themselves to be punched in the face. Like a little animated hand came out and punched them in the face. And I thought that was really cool. Um, but one of the limitations that I had at the time was that I hadn't figured out how to, uh, ha hadn't figured out how to deal with the camera movement thing. But now I have dealt with the camera movement thing. Uh, all of that research and all of that sort of insight that I did at the time led to stuff like this. So I can attack my webcam by moving my camera into the middle of the page. I mean, now we're ready to start streaming, but I have fun thinking about it. Rachel, that's, like, that's the best way. And honestly, like, focusing on the fun and focusing on the messing around with it is how I got started. I got, I wanted to sport Dolly Whiskers, which I think is clear. Catch up for your benefit because you're new to the stream tonight. My partner is chronically ill. Um, they started streaming before I did, playing Minecraft on somebody else's server. And um, I started streaming alongside them. Um, and that's how I got my start. And then it was sort of that fun in supporting them. And honestly, the longer I did it, the fun that I was having myself. Because I was not prepared for how long this was going to... I was expecting to stream for six months and be done. But here we are two, hours, two years later. Uh, it's a good time. It's a real good time. I have so many ideas. Hype. And like I've said before, uh, Rachel, obviously you're in the Discord. If you'd like to speak about said ideas at any point, here we are, two hours later. Two hours later. Two years later. You know what I meant. Shush. 90% of what gets me to stream is making a cool new thing for my stream that I can't show off any other way. Def, do it for the fun. It's all about the fun. I think the there's this really... Like, I, do, I don't really need to say it because it's one of those... It's one of those silly stereotypes that I think a lot of people are aware of. A lot of people get into content creation expecting to make money. I am very... Um, yeah, Dolly Whiskers, thank you. Um, I am very lucky to get the, the money that I do through Twitch. Uh, it means that this as a hobby is entirely self-funding. Um, but past that point, I've met so many nice people and I've had so much fun in doing this as an experience. When I say it, I sometimes think it sounds almost a little too grand, but I have also learned so much about myself through Twitch streaming that I would not be the person I am today without having met or like having formed the community that we have. I got into streaming because I want to hang out with friends and help lessen anxiety by talking to people. I don't want to start without a PNG avatar. Yes, if, if you're going to ask my experience of any like looking back on how I started, if I was going to do anything, I would start with a PNG. I wouldn't go back to not having a webcam at all or like an on-stream component. Like have a PNG here. Like do do the chicken. Do do the do the do if you don't if you don't want to be on a webcam, fine. I fully respect people don't always want to be on a webcam, but have something because that something is just from a psychological perspective. 
I feel like you have to have a visual for people. Yes, 100%. I think you put so much more weight on your own personality and your ability to carry the entire stream when you don't have an on-screen pre on screen presence. Um, I think there's a lot of self-doubt, and I say this for your own benefit, um, there's a lot of doubt that can come from the fact that people aren't like seeing you, they're listening entirely to your voice, and if there's a long period of time where nothing is being said, they can't see you being quiet, It they just hear nothing. So when I'm streaming a game or playing a game, if I don't say anything, in a really stupid way, and I get, I get why this sounds ridiculous sometimes, because obviously the stream is still live, but I'm still here. <laughs> Man, you're so chill. I just it's what we we run a we run a we run we run a nice comfortable ship around here. Catch up. You're welcome in the community. Um, but I I also I also love talking about this shit. Honestly, I love talking about this shit. Uh, I will take this opportunity to say that I also have a bunch of what we consider um, founding members or VIPs within the community. And if you're looking for some other members that you could follow catch up, um, you could go and follow the people on that list that I've just posted. They are all uh, the people that got me started. My partner is on there. Various people that have been part of our previous Minecraft SMP. There is also a cat. 100%. There is also a cat called George emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else you are trying way too hard with that outfit you no stop i don't like being seen that's a mood listen i never had your precious writer i was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion now the love of your life is doomed doomed <laughs> I swear to God. He tripped me. Even with my famously keen perception. I ate my spinach this morning, so don't mess with me. Concentration. Where is the spider in this room? 3D. Three days it's been here. Tire tracks. Nice shot. That's terrible. how silly this DLC is. I was not prepared for silly. I don't know what I was prepared for, but I was not prepared for this. I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting. I knew it had other characters, but I was not prepared for whatever this drug fueled mess is. It's good. I just, I'm shocked. <laughs> Also, they clearly want me to use the shotgun because they've given me so much ammo for the shotgun, it's ridiculous. 
I wish I could take 10 shotgun rounds to the chest. I mean, there's a joke there, and I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure that there's a joke there. Seedlit, is there a joke there? Do you, do you sense the same joke that I'm sensing right now? Oh dear. I knew you, my oh. number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. <laughs> You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. Okay. My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love, love and, and destiny. destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. I love that this... I the love... stakes had never been higher. I love the, like, whole aesthetic with the pink and everything, and this woman is just covered in blood. He saw a Dalmatian and, it's, and it lives in my apartment complex. He saw it today. I want to see it too. Love Dalmatian. Love a Dalmatian. You don't, like, I feel like Dalmatians are out of, they used to be very popular and you don't see I them very often now. I have to mansion before they hurt a single mahogany hair on my writer's head. I'm not sure you can classify a dog breed as rare, but for about five minutes in like the early 2000s, they were everywhere and now you don't see them. You've never seen one in person? Like I've met I have met multiple Dalmatians in my life, but like I said, you just don't see them now. It's all about French bulldogs and I'm not sure what else, but French bulldogs. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I'm so <laughs> He fired a heart bubble at me. Do I shoot the bubbles? Yes, shoot the bubbles. I should have known. I should have known. Won't stop me. I'm fresh out of bullets. I know I said you could change, but this is ridiculous. Now you'll see the sexy monster within me. My motorcycle is also a werewolf. God, this game exists. If this game is so good. Hi, Bluestone. His motorcycle's a werewolf. Oh, 
If it's not on Steam, it doesn't exist to me. I feel that, but I love the uh, re I love all Remedy games, so I just had to get it. Uh, I'm also guilty of forgetting about Epic games. I just grabbed the free games and close it. I own two games on Epic. I own this, and I own the Final Fantasy VII Remake, because fuck waiting a full year for that to be accessible on Steam. Like, if they release the sequel to the Final Fantasy VII Remake on Epic, I will buy it on Epic. If it comes on Steam, I'll buy it on Steam. I support all companies, I don't mind. I don't mind supporting all companies, but the Epic Launcher is fucking awful. On my language. Like, it's bad. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty goddamn bad. Considering they have more money than God. Like, these people have Fortnite. They're just pooping out cash. They should have a better launcher. <laughs> Finish me off. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair. Disney has Fortnite now, right? Mostly. No. That he's got the love this, of somebody they've, who's amazing. They've cooperated. This, this is the best love story. Did you know that Epic is running Unreal? I did. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things, too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. <laughs> okay, I reach did someone order a reckoning? Did somebody order a reckoning? <laughs> Sorry, that made me jump. Flap flap. <laughs> Night underscore sprite just raided with 31 viewers. I'm I'm okay, chat. And the raids. Hello. Sorry, I was mid speaking. Ugh. Ooh, Raiders, my name is Chimkin, otherwise known as Chim. I'm a variety streamer who is currently just, well, I'm I'm well into the first section of the Alan Wake 2 DLC because I'm a massive Remedy Entertainment game fan. Knight, how is your, how's Final Fantasy IX going? Did you make it to the Outer Continent? Everybody in my community, go follow a knight. They're currently playing Final Fantasy IX for the first time in a while they've just reached the uh like the the, the map has just opened up um and they do i just want to say they do have a redeem on their channel that allows you to name one of the characters but i'm 95 percent sure most of them already have already gone you should go check that out i'm not sure if there's anything the proper way to welcome a raid with a chim stim you're on your way to 10 2 what 10 2 What you mean? Wait, what are we talking about? You don't mean Final Fantasy X? That's a terrible game. I, loads of people love it. I'm not doing Tenti. Sure. I I mean it was pretty, but it was pretty bad. You could I it, okay. So Final Fantasy is absolutely fantastic, right? I have a lot of I have a lot of fond memories of Final Fantasy, but Final Fantasy X Two was the first sequel that they did, and it had some major problems. Chiefly, regardless of everything else, like regardless of the story, regardless of the character design, regardless of the theming, regardless of everything else, within the first five to ten minutes of that game, you could stand in a place where if you put an elastic band around your controller, the two characters you had accessible at the time would start the main game with one of their classes maxed out if you left it long enough. 
and nearby there was uh, a healing pl a, a point you could go for healing and you could just loop that on an infinite basis so you could start the game fully leveled up the fact that that was part of the game ten two had its problems i'm not don't be out here trying to prove to me that ten two didn't have its problems <laughs> Whoops! Gotta put more bullets in! Don't get between me and my brother! But... The problem is you don't like it. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. Um... Raiders, my name is Jim, can otherwise... I can't remember if I said that. Raiders, my name is Jim, can otherwise known as Jim. Um, if you need to raid and run, please feel free. Uh, but if you want to hang around for what is the most trippiest... This is the DLC for Alan Wake 2. It is all over the shop. The problem is you don't like it. No, it was a horrible game. It did have, it did have some benefits. Like, I liked the fact that it re resolved components of the Final Fantasy X story. Uh, I got Final Fantasy XI Remake. Need to play more. Just been unwell. Uh, this is a remedy game for sure. Final Fantasy XI? Is that the one that's basically Star Wars? Is that the one where you start with the blonde-haired, like, Aladdin-looking character, and then basically Star Wars arrives? Like, the it's, it's, it's very Star Wars, I think. Blonde guy. Did you call Cloud Strife Aladdin? No. Oh, sorry, you said seven. That's V11. That's not a Roman numeral. You mean VII. Sorry, I thought you meant I thought you meant Final Fantasy XI. You mean Seven Remake. Seven Remake is really good. Seven Remake is really good. I can't really say anything without giving spoilers, but it's really good. Um, I really enjoyed it, but there was a very specific part of it I didn't enjoy. I think they could have gone around without giving too much away because I don't want to. I, I feel, I feel like there was one component of that entire story that made it super interesting to me, but they went about it in a really bad way. Um, describing a game without spoilers is hard, yes, but I'm not going to tell you what I think is bad. I just think there's one component of it that could have been much better. <laughs> I really want them to do Rebirth on PC. Can everybody in chat, like, do a dance or a ritual of some kind so they release uh, so they release uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PC? I don't care if it comes on Epic. If it's released on Epic, I will buy it. They really need to release Seven, Re uh, Seven Rebirth on PC. I didn't think you were bot when you first came in because you said something nice and you didn't try to sell me viewers. I would like a Resident Evil 5 remake. Really? Of all the Resident Evils, Resident Evil 5? Is there a reason why? Want to buy art? Want to sell me some viewers? Hi, Kara. How's your client, Kara? Do not fucking stamp on me. Oh my god. My best art is drawing a stick man wrong. Hey, Brick Team. Hope you're doing well. I hope you like unhinged waitresses. 
because we're pretty unhinged and waitressy right now. I have so many shotgun rounds, this game had no expectations of me of using any other weapon. What is this? Dearest brother, news reached me that your journey across Europe has taken a turn for the worse. I was utterly and completely devastated to hear you've been afflicted with a serious case of lycanthropy while riding your motorcycle through the Nordics. I know we haven't spoken in years, but please know that my thoughts are always with you. My dear monozygotic sibling, please contact me when you, upon your return to America. Until then, I hope this card finds you well on your way to speedy recovery. Dearest regards, your brother. P.S. Due to your off-road bound lifestyle, I do not know where to send this card. I have written this message as a symbol of my fraternal love, and I shall leave it on my mantle in the hopes that one day you shall read it. Um, in my experience as a server, they're all unhinged. Uh, Final Fantasy XVI was on about this one, mate. If so, I want it on PC too, sadly. Is that um, 16? I... That was the... That was the the most recent main game Final Fantasy, not including the remake, was everywhere for about ten seconds, and then I never heard anything else about it. I'm assuming there's probably going to be DLC or something, and I don't know I don't know why it fell off so bad. Customers will do that to you. I am so happy I don't work in retail anymore. Well, whoever lives here clearly likes books. Guess we have to go upstairs. I don't My gun's hungry. my gun up. I forget between me and my brother. It's bullets o'clock. They like books, nerds. I'd buy one. 20 stream streak? Holy shit. It's happening, Kara. Maybe one day you'll be as cool as Sky Alakar. I'm fresh out of bullets. I'm fresh out of bullets. I'm sweating like a PIG. I don't know much about guns as a filthy British person, but I'm pretty sure if somebody was stood on the other side of that door and you fired a shotgun at it like this, they, they would himself. be dead. I mean, save himself. Like. Them's fine words, Jim. Uh, wash thoroughly with cold water. What is this? Hair beard regimen. Twice a week, everybody. Hair and beard regimen. As a confused British person, I don't know about guns too. They would not be in a good way. No, I didn't think so. Wash thoroughly with cold water. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna review it based off what I how I treat my beard. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Brush three times with honeycomb. Bought locally at a farmer's market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. Rinse the cold water. Gently pat dry with thread count towel. Condition often. General rules. Never wear hats. I don't have time to admire my writer's taste and decor. Never wear hats. Once a month, rub three mixed eggs. Bought locally at a farmer's market into damp hair, scalp and beard. Avoid chlorine, heat and inexperienced barbers. All I know is how to be confused and confuse others by making mistakes too, and I'm so and saying sorry. I mean, the sorry thing is a mood, but like, you know, it's fine. You're fine. Um, I don't agree with any of that beard regimen. I would just go on like I would like to go on record and say I don't um I don't agree with any of that beard regimen. I had it. I was informed by a very professional barber that I see on a monthly basis that when your beard gets to a certain length, all you have to do is comb it occasionally and wash it like it's hair on the top of your head that's on your chin so shampoo and conditioning that's it if you're out there buying beard oils and beard shampoos and you're paying a marked up price 
You're being lied to. Stop it. Uh, ideas for next book. Inventive murder weapons, stapler, lawn gnome, swordfish, philosophy. Escalate the crime. Plunge the depths of humanity's darkness. A murder religion. Hero's motivation. A rival private eye. His wife returns from the dead only to be killed a second time. Too much, not enough. A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, and good with a weapon. Smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. Lol, I don't even brush the hair on my head. You do. I'm pretty sure you do. With hair, you're, the hair you're like, if you didn't, you'd look like a freaking... You'd look like... I don't know. You'd look like a... What are those things that blow through the desert that are made out of plant that, like, roll along? I, I'm not doing very well with words today. Tumbleweed. Thank you. See, this is what I hired Evil Seedlet for. Filling in my gaps. Ooh, ooh. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. The covered in blood. Together. <laughs> and the smile is so Our creepy. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. Oh, and she does the dip? He of course she does the dip. Now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. Where to God? A fan and the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Yes, there's an amazing theme tune. I love the theme tune. Someone who knows literally nothing about Alan Wake. What? Yeah, it's weird. And I'm not explaining it again. I explained it at the beginning of the stream. I'm not I'm not doing a summary again. <laughs> I might die. Okay. That's enough of that. Um, there are two more expansions. Uh, we're almost done, but we're going to go slightly later than we usually would. We're going to dip into the next episode. I'm not necessarily going to be able to play half of the next episode, but I'll plan to finish this tomorrow. There'll probably be a lot less talking tomorrow because I did about 40 minutes of speaking at the beginning of this stream. DLB, welcome in. Would watch this show in real life. You'll watch it. As long as you still watch me, see, let that's the most important thing. Okay, who's next? North Star. Young woman on a mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency 
that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star Bye, shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what something exciting is about to happen, everybody. She follows its unwavering light to the small town of Night Springs. Something very exciting is about to happen, chat. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. Everybody get ready to squeal. This is gonna get strange. Guess who that is? There's no helping it. The universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. Yeah, I knew this was happening. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've Ooh! seen you. But there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. Dun, dun, That's dun. Why they and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. That's it. We're not playing anymore. Had so much fun. Thank you, Ketchup. I appreciate it. We're going to back out now anyway. I, I wanted to drop that as a piece of knowledge so everybody comes back tomorrow to watch some more. Um, but yes, that is the control connection. Uh, it's not as much of a, it's not as much of a, I have, I hear Alan Wake fans screaming across the planet. It's not as much of a connected universe as control was always in the same universe. Um, stream over. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to call it a day there. I've done my two hours. I usually do two hours on a Monday and actually I switched to Alan Wake 2 today so I could be done on time because every time I was playing Quantum Break, I was spilling over by about 45 minutes. So we're going to call it a wrap there. I will be back tomorrow. I think reasonably, considering there was a lot of back and forth, I could probably finish the next two episodes tomorrow's stream. So I might go live slightly earlier than usual to get a start on it. But I hope to be done with the DLC tomorrow evening. I might go live like an hour earlier just to sort of balance it out. But this was so much fun. Honestly, this was absolutely great. I was not expecting that level of unhingedness i was completely unprepared for that so um we say some words at the end of my streams and it's especially good to be back in the alan wake 2 franchise so or alan wake 2 game so i would just like you to know chat obviously i'm a massive remedy fan i talk about it all the freaking time and i'm really glad you exist and i'm really glad that you're here going on this journey with me because holy shit the fanboying is real um, at the beginning of my streams, I asked you to tell me something that you've been up to so I can be proud of you for something. Um, at the end of my streams, we've changed it up a little bit. So rather than we are sort of repeating ourselves, I just want you to know that I'm really glad or I'm really proud of you for continuing to exist. I'm glad that you exist, but I'm also really proud of you for still doing that because life is freaking hard. And honestly um all you can do some days is just exist if you can't get out of bed some days that's fine with me um your existence is extremely important to me um a few things a few things you do not have to watch my content you do not have to be in chat you do not have to lurk in chat though lurks are always welcome what i want you to do is exist and if my content to some degree can make that existence easier that's the sort of position I'm trying to find myself in, myself in. So please keep that as a point of focus. You are, I hope you feel validated and I hope you feel welcome in our community because we do, we do honestly try our best. Stop, sit, we're, stop existing out of spite. I will find you Night Sprite and I will buy you a toupee. Um, yeah. So just continue to take care of yourselves as best as you possibly can. There will be some harder days, but honestly, just 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 keep doing what you're doing. Um, and I'm proud of you for doing everything that you can do. Um, the third part of our ending messages is called Fox Giving. Fox Giving works in two ways, right? There's a beginning and an end. Fox Giving, if there is something that you give a fuck about, and I mean this in a positive sense. If you care about charity, if you care about friends, if you care about cheese sandwiches, if you care about french fries, if you care about... I can't think of a fifth one. Um, Pokemon cards. 
I want I want you to type it in chat. I don't need a long explanation, just a couple of words, just to tell me that so tell me something that you give a fuck about. But at the same time, because this is all about vibe checking the universe, right? I give a fuck about good friends who do good things. See, that's a good example. I give a fuck about cats. Giving a fuck about cats is great. Perfect examples. It's like I've secretly trained you over the course of 468 streams. Officially, it has been 469 streams I've ever done. Um, if only because, no, it's probably slightly less than that. Amazing. I give a fuck about my kiddo and those closest to me. That's great. Um, that's that's really important. And the, the, the... I can't pretend that I want children right now, but I'm really glad that you give a fuck about your child and I'm really glad that you give about the fuck, uh, a fuck about the people closest to you. I, I was having this discussion with my parents today, chat. I have something to give a fuck about, right? This will be the thing I give a fuck about because I had this discussion with my parents today. I have been in a relationship with my significant other for a decade in October. I think it's 10 years in October. Um... I give a fuck about parents who aren't doing the thing when are you going to have kids because they are perfectly content with the logic that both myself and Dolly will not be having children, especially because of Dolly Whiskers' um, chronic health condition. So, yeah, I give a fuck about parents who are like that because a lot of parents wouldn't be. Um, I'm snoozing ads like a boss, so we're going to whiz through the second bit. Uh, the second half of fucks giving, the end bit, Yes, be happy with or without them. I am. I am. I'm happy. I'm. Yeah. My mum gave up on asking me about kids. I just. I am. I didn't. It, it's not until your parent sits you down, they give you a can of Coke, and I sit there drinking a nice cold can of Coke, and they go. Yeah, don't have children. Or something along those lines. I can't remember how it came up in conversation. Basically, like we're really proud of you for making that decision or something along those lines i was just sort of like oh that's actually quite nice um the second half of fucks give it uh, the second half of fucks giving is about somebody myself and my partner dolly whiskers um they we lost somebody that was very important to our family at the end of 2020 uh, 23 to cancer so i invite everybody in chat right now you will not be penalized by the auto mod um to type fuck cancer in chat this is like the second half of the vibe check right um it's assertive it helps me remember that that person in a positive sense and it's just like a ritual that we've done for the entirety of 2024 um we will be fucking something else next year and sooner or later i'm gonna have to start thinking about that but in the meantime fuck cancer um it the average person should not have to worry about that shit and the fact that they do in 2024 just sucks so vibe check vibe check Thank you for helping me do Witch on the internet. I'm going to raid somebody. I'm going to raid somebody. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll find somebody on my list. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me pause my own stream. If you have enjoyed the content today, I invite you to drop a follow. But otherwise... Um, I'll see you around, chat. I'll be back tomorrow for more Alan Wake. And who are we going to raid? We are going to raid... Sanguine. We're going to raid Sanguine. Sanguine is a good egg. They are playing High on Life, which is that game from the makers of Rick and Morty. I was there for some very heavy drug references right at the beginning of their stream. I had never seen footage of that game, so be prepared. This is probably going to be 18+. plus. Um, if you are subscribed, drop a raid mode on arrival. If you are unsubscribed, take a raid message from chat. I will send you off right this second, and I'll be back tomorrow at 7... I go live at 9 p.m. UTC plus 1. I'll be an hour earlier tomorrow. I'll go live at 8 p.m. UTC plus 1, so expect me slightly sooner than usual, and we'll be doing more Alan Wake. Uh, I need to find the button. Follow, follow, not follow. Sanguine, where are you, Sanguine? The Sanguine just signed off. No, there he is. I spot him. I see him. Everybody go and have fun. I'll see you around.